Now, why the heck did I blast this so much TNT? And what is this behind me? Keep watching to find out. Because this episode is gonna be one of its kind. Hey everyone, so I just spawned in in my world. This, I bet you guys can recognize this world, but this is the world in which we did our house in the cold place series. I just got lost and roaming around and I can't seem to find my way around and nor did I roll my coordinates. I mean, I did roll them, but I didn't have the time to look for the location, but yeah. Now, I just wanted to like do something so i was just going across the mountain and i found a super awesome cave a bitch could make a quite a good cave in it i mean a base in it but there was an issue now that i had lost my home i had to build a new one and plus i really my heart was carving to go to the nether find the nether fortress and do things people do in there so i found a location and started off so yeah, now I found my location and I wouldn't I wasn't gonna break blocks with my own two hands. I used TNT and made my space. Clear it up, set it up and yeah. So now that I had done the TNT it was time for the decorations. I was I try to do different dimensions so but I ended up using nether nether bricks and a few more materials and I like to use them as a simple base. At that moment, I had no idea that I was gonna make a four-layered house. Yeah, a four-story house. But yeah, I just like did it. Now, on IRL day 1, I just experimented with blocks and did half of the base. I mean, not the base, the house. I did half of the house. And yeah, that was all for day 1. So, on day 2, I started off by making a front um, like area where I could stand on because I knew that I would have to do a lot of work in front of the house, so... I had to like build a bit of an area, uh, like something I could stand on easily and move around because the mountain area wasn't so good, you know? <laughs> then I decided to add an extra room on the side, maybe uh, you can call it chamber, no, no, that's not chamber. Yeah, it was like a, just a tiny room which I would use for future purposes, I had no idea what I was gonna do in that. Then, I don't know why, I got so creative then. I tried to use redstone at a place where it had no point of being used. I thought that I could make that room some type of vault or something with treasures and I should add a secret door leading to it. 
which should look like a normal wall but if you press a button it will open up at the door I did that but it ended up with a big fail I didn't, I didn't use it because it would break the door every time I would turn it on so I decided that it's just a showcase don't use it Now that I was done with that room and I added a couple bit of lighting and lighting and then I decided to that was the moment when I thought that I maybe I should add another floor on top. That was the point when I decided that I was going to turn my house into a castle or a mansion whatever you call it. I started making I started out by making stairs leading upwards. So it was quite a pain. And then when I was done with doing, I mean, making the series leading upside, upward to the top of the like of the house. So uh, there I did a bit of exploding of TNT again and uh, made a bit of area, clear it up. And then I realized if I keep doing this without any instruction of where I'm supposed to cut and like do break blocks, I wouldn't get anywhere so i decided to make a bit of a like a shape around my that i mean m that around the area that i wanted to be a part of my mansion or my house or my palace so i made a whole netherite brick boundary around like a, not a boundary just a shape like a square or a circle i forgot the shape i can't tell the shape's quite good that's all uh, yeah i made that and then came the best part of it all but now that i was done with the boundary i had to like make the area and i was definitely not gonna do it with my two tiny hands so i decided to use tnt and of course the relaxing tnt blast thing is the best part of it all <laughs> creeper face So on day three, I had I started to clear up the area and like set like equal lanes on one side of the area that I had lasted. I mean, I wasn't gonna like just gonna start building in that that uneven area. I e like balanced it and did a lot of it, and it took a lot of time, and it was still not completed. Of course, it takes a lot of time to do such a thing. On day 4, I had a few intruders that were zombies, but they were already burning by the sun. Uh, were being burned by the sun, and I had done most of the um, balancing and the, like breaking blocks of the 
the second floor and there's a little area I was left which I had to patch it up and I patched it up. Now, once I had completely patched up that tiny blue area, I had to start by building the walls, and I did. The entire day for I kept me like building the pl the walls, which took a lot of effort, but it was worth it. So on day 5, I started off, I had completed the walls and now I had to make a few areas where I like to get in. So I made these Asian windows which I had watched in a YouTube video. Lombie shorts or Lombie I forgot but yeah. I watched it in, decora in his decoration tips or something like that. Yeah, it was th some video I saw this and I may try to replicate that but... It didn't work, but I just did it a bit self style, different than the original. Like, I recreated it. And yeah, I did the window, Asian window, it took a lot of time. And then I did the. Now it was finally time to divide the area into rooms. And I did that. I started building the wall, which is supposed to come in center of all of them. On day 6, I finished the wall which is supposed to come in between the rooms and uh, yes, it took a lot of time again and then I I had already decided what I was gonna do in that room I was gonna create a garden type effect in there so I just started out by adding dirt blocks and then custom trees and so much more just keep watching
and working really hard on day 6, I completed my custom garden inside the palace, which was splendid. I made the ceiling of this room and I also brought a few rabbits. On day 7, I started the construction of the stairs that were gonna lead us to the third floor. Yay! I just finally, that was the moment I decided that I was gonna add another floor to this house. And what a happy moment that was. And a stressful one too. <laughs> and then things finally came down to my own room. I mean,. It's my mansion, I need a room in it. So I did a few basic, like add wood, like add <laughs> wood on the floor, and then bed, study table, dresser, um, and a full uh, a refrigerator, you no, know, some fresh food area, and of course, a door linking to the garden. Yeah, and that's it. And on day 8, I had started to panic that this video was never gonna end and because of the panic, I did a lot of things which I did not record like uh, making the guest bedroom which you guys probably will see in the end and yeah, I mean in the end of this video and uh, when I calmed myself down a bit then I made the magic room yeah, the blue magic room But now that I was done with the magic room, I made the vault, which <laughs> like contained a lot of precious things such as diamonds, emeralds, uh, and gold, and netherite armor, and you know, precious things. And now that I was done with the vault, I d started making the staircase, yes, the staircase to what? Well, from the mansion to the ground, <laughs> yeah. And then, finally, on day 9, I was, like, I was, oh, things were, like, getting together, and, uh, the mansion was almost complete. All I had to do was make the roof, but when I made the roof, I realized it had enough space that I could farm animals, crops, and anything in that space, so I did that. I farmed animals and crops in that space.
Actually, if you look at this house at night time from a, a bit far away, you'll probably think that's a vampire's house, but no, it belongs to a completely fine living human who doesn't drink blood.